loved cameras. He loved to get his picture taken. Uh, every time I'd go out and work him, there'd be cameras uh, watching every move he was making. He'd stop and look at them. It looked like he was posing for them. Um, the crowd would holler big red and he'd stop and he'd look and uh, he was really a ham. Uh, the, uh, the whole thing was magic. The magic of Secretariat came to life in the spring of 73. It's the Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs. Secretariat with jockey Ron Turcott sets the world record for the fastest mile and a quarter in racing history. The most anticipated derby winner in years. It was the start of the racing legend of Secretariat. Just two weeks later, in the Preakness Stakes, Secretariat won the second leg of the Triple Crown. Secretariat has him put away. He's beginning to run away. By winning the Preakness, Secretariat was in position to become the first horse to win the Triple Crown in 25 years. Yes, I did. You always do when you especially win two out of the three, and nobody I hadn't won in 25, 24 years, 25 years, you know. But I, I really thought he, he had a very good chance to win it because he had beat all them other horses so easily before. I thought, of course, you never know if you can go on and have one. I mean, I, I told him, really, I said, I think we've got a very, very good chance to win it. In the Belmont Stakes, Secretariat was neck and neck with Sham for half the race. Then Secretariat exploded to make it a runaway. Even his jockey, Ron Turcott, was amazed at how fast Secretariat was going as he headed for home. I kept hearing this whole beat getting farther, far back. You know, they're they're disappearing, they're, they're fading away. And uh, I, you know, I said, geez, can we be going that fast? And it seemed, looking at the ground and the poles going by, you know, the poles holding the fence, I felt like we were going pretty fast, And but he's doing it so easy. He won the Belmont by a record 31 lengths. He became the first horse in 25 years to win the Triple Crown. And for his owners, he brought a long sigh of relief. I just had such a sense of responsibility because so many people wanted the horse to win that I, I can't really say that I was, uh, that I could savor the Belmont win because my biggest feeling was relief. We did it. And uh, it was a long time after that before I was able to say, wow, 31 lengths, and he did it hardly turning a hair, he did it on his own. So the, all of the attention just, diverted my attention from uh, just appreciating the racehorse. The legend of Secretariat was firmly established. He was the first Triple Crown winner in 25 years. In his racing career, he had 16 wins in 21 starts. Secretariat retired to life on the farm in November of 1973. There he led the life of luxury. Those who would criticize this great horse would fault him as a sire. He did produce a Preakness winner, a Belmont Stakes winner, but he did not produce a Kentucky Derby winner. And it is for that reason that some people say he was not as good a sire as he was a racehorse. He never disappointed me as a sire. I didn't, I didn't expect him to have Secretariat Junior winning the Triple Crown, um, other than Risen Star, General Assembly, uh, Lady Secret. He didn't produce the blockbuster horse, and if people want to criticize him, that's their privilege. 